hello my dear students welcome in another video lecture of our biodiversity of corded paper in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the classification of class reptilia so uh, the class reptilia is having basically five subclasses so it is classified into the five subclasses among which three are extincted one and only two subclasses are in living condition so let us proceed to the classification side so first uh, that sub order is urapsida which is extincted one next second one is so this is first one this second one is parapsida this is also extincted one and the third one is synapsida it is also extincted one so basically these three subclasses are included into the extincted or they comprise all the extincted reptiles in them first is urapsida second is parapsida third is synapsida now let us proceed to the living uh, classes subclasses so first living subclass is anapsida this anapsida includes single order which is uh, named as either chilo chilonia or testudina now the chilonia is a term which is taken from the greek terminology which means turtle which means turtle and uh, the another uh, term that is taken from the latin terminology which is also um, uh, mean to the turtle that is testudo uh, it is taken from the greek term that is chilon and uh, second name is taken from the latin term that is testudo uh, and they both are having same meaning that is turtle so in short you might have understood that uh, this uh, order turtles are included they are having short body you can observe here they are having short body they have either pedal like or just web like uh, uh, foods or clawed limbs will be there so here you can observe these are the clawed limbs here clawed limbs are present and here pedal like appearance is there here they are webbed like uh, limbs are there uh, and the body is comprises the best of uh, that is characteristic feature of this are the body is comprised into the carapace carapace kya hota carapace is a cavity or shell like structure jo hard shell hoga uh, the body is in the शेल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो इस शेल को कैरापेस बोला जाता है ओके नाउ लेट इज प्रोसीड टू द अनदर सब क्लास दैट इज दिडा दिस इज द फाइनल और लास्ट सब क्लास ऑफ क्लास रेप्टीलिया डायपसीडा डायपसीडा इज क्लासीफाइड इंटू थ्री डिफरेंट ऑर्डर्स सो इट इज क्लासीफाइड इंटू थ्री ऑर्डर्स फर्स्ट ऑर्डर इज राइन रिंकोसिफेलिया सेकेंड ऑर्डर इज क्वेमैटा एंड थर्ड ऑर्डर इज क्रोकोडिलिया ना रिंकोसिफेलिया इज टेकन फ्रॉम द टू डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस दिस इज सिंगल टर्म मेड फ्रॉम द टू डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस इन विच रिंकोज मीन्स नाउट विच इज वर्ड फ्रॉम लैटिन टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड अनदर्स Uh, that is taken from the greek terminology half portion that is cephalia so it is, is uh, basically kephale uh, pronounced in greek language and which means head so snouted head jisko bolte hain iska pura meaning hoga snouted head so animals which are having snout like head are included into the order rhynchocephalia they are having small body Uh, so let us come to the uh, yeah here uh, it is an example of rhynchocephalia they are having snout like head and they are having short body sometimes they have spines on their uh, back so another uh, uh, and uh, pterodactyl uh, wait pterodactyl clawed digits are there the body is rough the uh, granular scale is there uh, and uh, they are having uh, the another uh, thing is there that uh, they have no copulatory organ in them in short the example of this is tutara 
is sifo sphenodon sorry sphenodon a punctatum of new zealand so this is the basic example of rhynchocephalia order so lizard like small lizards are included in this uh, order rhynchocephalia now the let us back to the classification another or uh, second class is squamata or sorry second order is squamata so squamata is taken from the gree uh, sorry language uh, latin language uh, in which squama means the uh, scales or uh, squamatus means scaly uh, skin we can say so this is squama which is taken from the latin language which means scales so such animals which are having scales on their body are included into the order squamata now this order squamata is again classified into two different sub orders okay this is a uh, again classified or divided into two sub orders first is uh, lesser telia uh, or swar soria is sorry a uh, soria is there and another sub order is ophidia or serpenti uh, serpentiana so in short in this squamata uh, i will just let us come to the okay the sub order uh, or lacertilia or soria of squamata uh, order includes varanus or large lizards we can say the uh, medium size or large size uh, liz lizards are included into it which are having a advanced uh, body uh, mechanism and their uh, body is having limb like uh, uh, clawed digits or uh, which i uh, uh, their limbs are clawed and uh, their exoskeleton is horny uh, epidermal scales are present just because they are included into squamata so obviously scales to present honge another sub order of uh, uh, this is another example of uh, the order sorry sub order lacertilia or soriana sorry soria so uh, another sub order that is ophiada or serpentina serpentina se to aapko pata chal gaya hoga we are talking about the snakes so all the snakes are included into the sub order aphidia or serpentina uh, all type of poisonous non poisonous snakes are included in it so let us back to the classification uh, table uh, here you can observe that last and third uh, that sub order we can sorry uh, the last and third uh, sub class uh, dipsida includes the last order that is crocodilia so this crocodilia is taken from the greek terminology which is uh, the word is crocodilos okay the spelling is a bit different croco dilios so this is taken from this uh, greek term which means crocodile so uh, you might have understood all the uh, crocodiles and uh, uh, alligators are included into it they are having large size carnivore aquatic rep they are uh, carnivore aquatic reptiles they are having long tail strong and lateral compressed body limbs are short but powerful they are having clawed uh, and webbed uh, feet uh, their skin is having thick scales bony plate like scutes and uh, they are having scutes on their body uh, so the alligator and crocodiles are included into the our order crocodilia so here all the orders uh, in Uh, including all the orders the classification ends up because you have to study about uh, up to only order level so here the classification of reptilia class reptilia ends up hopefully you have understood let's stop here have a nice day thanks for watching